Well, bless the Lord, everybody. And everybody bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Good to be here to share another occasion. We need to build up your most holy faith in the Lord and to encourage you in the word. Amen. The word of the kingdom and your own persons to always be mindful of that. That this word will not continue as usual. It's coming to a close. It will not continue as it is going on. Hallelujah. God has intended that his purpose and his plan be fulfilled in the earth. And so no matter how much man may plan and do things, the purposes of the Lord will stand. Amen. For it says many are the plans of man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. So we know man is trying to do things his own way, but God intend that things be done in his creation, his way. And so that's why the gospel is declaring repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He's pretty much saying that God is enforcing his rule and his purpose into his creation. And he will not always stand by and allow us to do as we please in his creation. His time is that time of doing is coming to a close. Hallelujah. He said there was a time he winked at our ignorance, but now. He's calling us to embrace and to obey the truth. And he says, knowing the truth will set us free from those ways and attitudes and behavior that oppose his will and way in the earth. Because the earth is the Lord's and the fullness of the world and they that dwell therein. So we are an encouraged person today to get into the world and to understand what God is saying to them. Because God wants everyone to be saved, but each person has their part to play in this, to be part of his kingdom. And his, that's why there's a call for repentance. There is no salvation without repentance. Amen. Praise God. So we will call persons to, as the word of God says, commands men everywhere to repent. Change your way of thinking. Change your behavior. Change your way. You handle things. Understand what the will of the Lord is. Embrace it and do it. Amen. Praise God. Come on, the close hands of Jesus. I just started this giving thanks right now. We are. He's the reason for all living. He's the reason for us being here. All things made by Him and without Him was not anything made that was made. Praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this great privilege to stand as your people one more time. And to hear your word and to meditate on your will and your purpose for our life. For your words, they are spirit and they are life. You know we don't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of your mouth. We need your input in all that we see and do. Because we are not made to operate on our own. You made us to operate under your likeness and in your image, O oh God. Under your leadership and direction in our lives. And so I pray grace will be released to the hearers today. And whatever the issues that are facing them, they will know with man it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. And they will embrace that to him. allow you to have your input and direction in their lives, oh God. That will lead them from strength to strength, from faith to faith, and from glory to glory. As they understand, oh God, what is your will and purpose in their lives. That they will embrace it and run in it. And see your will and purpose being magnified in their lives. And you will get the glory out of it. We thank you and praise you for this. And we claim the victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, give him the praise right now. Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God.
the devil you mean business man hallelujah no weapon form against God's people will prosper come on if you're trusting in the Lord you're not having some just good luck wish hallelujah you have a sure foundation to take him at his word and know he will come through for you what you say hallelujah and that is reason enough to praise him you want to encourage people to praise the Lord today that's what we do here every day hallelujah but we try in ever much even more on Tuesdays just to give a little flavor in the atmosphere around here to encourage soul whatever they're doing to remember the Lord and to praise him hallelujah whether it's in your spirit or out your mouth but you need to release some praise the word of God said let everything that hath breath praise him come on and if you come to praise him man you must praise him what do you say praise God and his word getting the praise hallelujah hallelujah by his stripes come on. we are here oh. by his blood his hands we're free by his blood we was clean now we have the victory. Power of sin is broken. Jesus overcame it all. Oh. He is one of freedom. Jesus has won it all. Come on, say it.
Paul said it if in this life only we have hope we are made most miserable hallelujah but that don't mean we don't have any hope in this life but he said in this life only hallelujah we still got hope in this life of the one who's living on the inside hallelujah was giving us reason to hope even beyond this life hallelujah come on let those hands and say that hope hallelujah oh glory to God come on worship anybody want to worship praise God praise God yes Thanks to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh, oh. 
my praise Jeremiah said it <laughs> heal me and I shall be healed <laughs> save me and I shall be saved you are my praise and my glory hallelujah You anoint my hand My cup running over My cup running over Thank you Lord Yeah. <laughs> 
care of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He is and in forever. Be my praise. Praise God. It's good to praise Him. Praise belongs to our God. Come on. Hallelujah.
breeze You got that praise for him He's done so much that he deserves More than just a praise Hallelujah We want our lives To be as a sweet aroma before him Hallelujah and he is glorified in seeing us living true holiness and righteousness in Christ Jesus our Lord hallelujah come on somebody praise him come on somebody praise him Yeah. 
Come on, give him the praise. Him. Hallelujah. Praise God.